Welcome back, fellow travelers. I want to talk to you today about redeeming your miles and using Aeroplan's website and how to navigate it. So the reason that I'm going to be showing you this is twofold. One is that Air Canada had announced recently that they're going to be spinning off uh, or creating, or I'm not spinning off, they spun off Aeroplan. They're creating a new loyalty program that's going to take effect in a few years. So it has people wondering what to do with their miles, what value the Aeroplan miles will have. So there are a lot of people that are just redeeming their miles. So I found that this was actually a pretty relevant uh, conversation to have. Secondly, uh, yesterday I was showing a friend how to navigate the website. So before I even started helping her, she opened the website, looked at it, stared at it for a few seconds, shook her head, and then closed the window and said she was just going to call in because it was way too complicated. There was way too much going on on screen for her to really want to, to deal with it, and she'll just call an agent. That's fair. However... You know, sometimes there's a long wait time on the phones or you might get an agent you're not happy with. You don't really trust them. You don't think they're giving you the best option. They are in, in all instances like these agents, they, they have a hard job and sometimes they might seem a little rough on the edges, but they for the most part mean well. But the wait times can be killer. And honestly, most of what you can do over the phone, you can do on the website now. So there's no real reason for you to necessarily call in unless you really have a particular case. So let's go ahead. We'll focus primarily on earning, uh, using your miles for flights. There are a ton of other ways to redeem your miles. However, the best value remains flights. So that's what we'll have a look at. So to use your flights, obviously you need to log in. So I'm already logged in here. You can see my balance. I've got 88,000. Uh, you then go to use your miles and then you go to travel. So here is where you can book any aspect of your travel. So there's flights, hotels, car rentals, and vacation packages. Vacation packages, I, I checked it out. It looks busted. You go to redeem now and it brings you to Air Canada Vacations uh, webpage. So I don't know. I don't know about that. So we'll just hit back right here. So we're gonna, as I mentioned, focus on flights. Hotel, car rentals, you can use it by clicking on those, those tabs. So here you can have either a round trip, a one way, or a multi-city. Some multi-cities you need to book through a agent, so you'll have to call or an agent, not a agent. Um, <laughs> so you can always give it a go here, and if you see it's not working, give the agent a call. But for one ways and round trips, it's fairly easy. Now, before before you kind of decide where to go, maybe you have a place in mind already. You just want to see if it's enough miles. You can go ahead and look at the rewards chart, which is right here. So we'll go ahead. Click redeem aeroplane miles, and it gives you this whole chart. So if you're leaving from North America, you will be able to see it. Let's say you want to fly economy. You just look at the row here and just match up with the columns. Uh, if you are missing miles, you can always top up. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, it does cost you money, though, to top up. So sometimes it can appear that your flights look a bit expensive. That's because you're topping up. So it's a good idea to not really top up too much. Uh, so let's say we're going to keep it basic here because I just want to show you how to navigate the site, not really get into the weeds of uh, how to manage all the functionalities. Uh, we're going to say uh, we're going from Toronto. So Toronto, I, I input the actual airport code. I just know them by heart from having worked in the airline industry. Uh, Toronto is YYZ for, for Pearson. Uh, but you can also type out, so you don't need to know the code, so don't freak out. <laughs> Uh, just make sure you're choosing the right airport. So a lot of times people will accidentally select Billy Bishop and then they're kind of wondering why they're connecting out of Billy Bishop to like Newark or Ottawa or whatever. So Toronto, Pearson, uh, we are going to go to, we'll go to Paris and we always, we pick Charles de Gaulle cause that's the, the major one. If you pick Orly, you're kind of get, going to get the runaround. Uh, we're going to say we're going to go for travel in uh, October. It's a good time to travel. I like it. So you, you select the date and then it auto populates your return so you don't have to like flip through the whole calendar again. Uh, we're gonna stay, we're gonna stay for a week. So we're gonna go from the, the second to the ninth. I would like to fly business, so you you go business here, but I don't have the miles. So we'll just go here. We'll we'll say economy. Wait, do I have the miles now? I might have the miles actually for business. I don't remember anymore. It used to be 60,000 economy, 80,000. It used to be 75, actually, business. No, let's check. Let's go to business. Full, full boy. Full boy. Jeez Louise. Great deal. Oh, this is actually really good. 
This is actually really good. It's 30,000 miles. No, wait. This can't be round trip. This can't be round trip. This is round trip. Toronto, Paris, Paris, Toronto. Holy cow, that is an actual good deal. Okay, so what's happening here? I'm actually, I might book this. <laughs> I might book this. <laughs> that is insane. Uh, maybe I'm going to Paris in October. I. Okay, so what's happening here is I'm, I'm selecting a market fair flight reward. And what this is, is Air Canada, uh, sorry, not Air Canada, Aeroplan will buy a seat from Air Canada and then they will transfer the cost of that flight or that ticket onto the consumer, in this case, me. And the cost of the ticket is going to be dependent on how much it actually, sorry, the, co the cost in Aeroplan miles is going to depend on how much it actually cost Aeroplan to purchase that ticket. So here there's clearly like a sale going on because it's cheaper to grab a round trip flight at 30,000 miles than it would be for a cost. And that almost never happens. That almost never happens. You're usually looking at paying way more. Wow. Okay. So that's, you know, I'm kind of doing some advertisement now for Aeroplan. Apparently this isn't an ad, by the way, this is not an ad. <laughs> oh my Lord. Okay. But, I don't want to leave out of Toronto. I don't live in Toronto anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find a way to get to Toronto. Ugh. I just asked for vacation time. Okay, let's let's reel back. Let's pretend that never happened. So, when we show, see our normal availability here, and I said it, this whole this started because I wanted a business, right? <laughs> see, so it's 110,000 for business now, which is it's that's crazy. That's crazy. So as you can tell, it's not an ad because, <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's just stick with economy. So here it's 60,000 miles. Uh, and this will, you can click on the details. It'll show you it's a direct flight. Is it a direct flight? Yeah, it's a direct flight. Uh, yeah, it says direct here. I don't have the uh, mouse highlighter on. Don't know how to activate that. I tried anyways. So you get the flight details of when it departs, uh, when it arrives, the type of aircraft, and whether or not you get a meal. So let's say we go, we select that. That's the flight we want. Now we look at a return. A return, we do not have a direct flight. We only have flights with one or two stops. Kind of unfortunate, uh, but we'll look at picking, holy cow, 30 hours. No, thank you. Uh, this one here is 11 hours. So it's operated by Swiss and connects in Zurich. I don't really want to spend, and it's a tight connection. It's an hour and 20 minutes. For Zurich, that is okay. It respects the minimum amount of uh, connection time, but I don't like to leave that kind of stuff up to chance. If there's a delay on the outbound, you're kind of screwed. Uh, you know, there's no daily, it's not like multiple flights a day leaving from Zurich going to Toronto, so then I'd probably have to connect somewhere and yada, yada, yada. So I'm not happy with this. I'm, I want to select a different date. So let's go ahead and go to the availability calendar right here. So it's going to populate other available days for us. So our departure is okay. We're happy with our departure. So we're looking, oh, you know, the 8th maybe. We'll, we'll cut our vacation a day short. Uh, we'll select it. We'll be in Paris for six days. Well, really five days, but you know. You know, that's that's okay. That's neither here nor there, right? So it's given us here. Now it's given us the great deals. That is a great deal. 25,000 miles. What? That's that's the cost of a flight essentially within North America. So I they really I'm gonna touch on this later in the video. I'm want, I'm gonna want to talk about market fare, so stick around after I've shown you this. So again, we're picking. We gotta pick our our outbound, which is what we wanted originally. Now our return. Same deal, same deal. We're not really getting anything that we want to see. So. Let's go back to the calendar. It's really a hunt and peck situation at this point. Uh, we'll go to the 10th. Hopefully we find something there. Search for new dates. As it loads. As it loads. Let me know if you're excited about that market fair flight uh, reward. Maybe if you check it later in the future, it's probably not going to be there because this does look like it's just a time sale. Uh, so we are going to go back here. 20,000 miles. Are you kidding me? Why does this keep getting cheaper? 
That is insane. That is insane. All right, so we looked, we found a direct flight. Yes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take that flight. So then we go here and it's going to tell us the breakdown. So it's going to cost us $613 to redeem our miles. I know, I know. People don't like it. Um, I'm not a big fan of it either. You know, it used to be like 100 bucks to book your flights with Aeropon miles. It kind of dilutes the, the value, but it's still worth it. So we look here and it breaks down. I'm not going to go down everything. Uh, this is just the cost. The cost will be variable depending on the airline that you book with, your itinerary, the airports that you fly in and out of, and the countries as well. Each country, each airport, they have their own sets of fees and structures that you have to pay as a flying passenger. On revenue tickets, when you book directly with the airline, you generally don't see it because they hide that stuff into the actual cost of the tickets so that you don't get upset about paying a bunch of extra stuff. It's what they do. Aeroplan, however, has to show them. Legally, they have to show them. So you can pay all with cash, or if you wanted to, you can use your miles. I don't have enough miles because it costs 102,000 miles to pay the $613 with, uh, you know, with miles. So I don't have that, so I have no option but to book. I don't want to click any further because I don't want it to reserve for me just yet. I do have to – well, that and there's a 20,000 – mile offer here. I'm going to have to do some searching offline and, and look at my exact dates because that is a good offer. So that's how you navigate the actual website. You're going to go through a, a straight and easy flow. After you click book, you're going to be able to uh, put your passenger information in. Now, note it does not have to be you that is flying in order to redeem the miles. You could re redeem the miles for someone else. So that's one thing that a lot of people do. Like if you have a daughter or you have a cousin, an uncle, a mom or dad, or even a friend, doesn't have to be family related, that's flying and you want to give them a help in hand, you can always use your miles for that person. You're going to enter the information. The prompts are all there on screen. They're pretty straightforward. Uh, depending on where you're flying to, you might have to enter in some passport information. So do make sure you have your passport handy. And then once all that's done, you're going to go through to the credit card uh, regulations and all that, like terms of, terms of service and agreements. And then you're going to hit confirm, and then you're going to get your itinerary. Depending on where you're booking, you might want to check my channel out also for travel guides. I, I have started doing travel guides for certain destinations that are fresh in my mind. I'm going to have to re-travel to other destinations to really get an updated view of the cities and landscapes. Do check that out. All right, now, talking about market fare. So sometimes you're not going to get these availabilities. So you see here it's 20,000 miles. That's crazy. That's crazy good value. But you look right here, 136,900 miles. So pretty much 137,000 miles to grab the same flight. You might be like, what the heck? Why is it doing that? This is probably a business class. This is premium economy. So the difference here is that this is economy and this is premium economy. So you're paying the fare for that one ticket is, is a lot more expensive. Um, Man, that's crazy. Let's just go check out Air Canada for a second. I want to see what their actual sale is right now. So this is uh, what they did I put in the 2nd of October. So from uh, Toronto to Paris. Second of October, returning. When did we say the the tenth, right? The tenth. That's what I have. Here, let's just select so I can see what what I have returning. Yes, the tenth. Okay. So one person. I want to see what their the prices are here. Now, Aeroplan would would probably get a discount. I, that I'm not too sure with. That's me speculating. Um, price isn't actually that special. Seven fifty three seems pretty normal to me. Um, let's go check. Uh, let's go check September here. September thirteenth to let's say the uh, the eighteenth. Short flight. Short flight. So yeah, it is a bit more expensive. Uh, you know, it's a few hundred dollars more expensive, but like that's huge savings. That's huge savings. So 
when you book with these types of flights, you're going to notice they're all Air Canada. You're not going to be able to book a uh, market fair flight with a Star Alliance airline. It, it's really limited to Air Canada's direct network. So if you want to go to a place that Air Canada doesn't serve, you're not going to be able to do market fair. And not only that, your prices will change. So if I come back in a few days, I'm probably not going to be able to get this price. Uh, I, I'm going to be very surprised if I would be. I'm going to have to really do my research right away. But these deals can be found, which is awesome, which is totally awesome. Uh, but that's there you go. That's how to navigate the flight. And that's a little spiel about market fare. Um, generally, you're going to want to book fixed mileage. When you do your searches, play around with the dates. You might find a really good deal. Holy cow. Anyways, that's all I have to say for today. If you'd like to check out some of my other videos, you could do that this way. <laughs> you can do that over there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you could also do that uh, right below or right above, depending on where uh, I'm putting the button. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for making me a part of your day. And until next time, safe travels.